Li Xiong, congratulations. Through to the second round. Um, a game against a man that you know very well. What was it like up there? Yeah, I mean, that was the hardest game of darts I've ever played in my life. It wasn't great. Um, we just showed each other a little bit too much respect, like the emotion of the... Oh, I mean, we're both a lot better than that. And it was, yeah, like I say, it was the hardest game of darts I've ever played in my life. But, you know, I think now I've won it, I think the well, only thing I can promise is I'll be a lot better than that on Tuesday night. For people that don't know the story between, obviously, you and Jordan, best friends since you were very, very young, just sort of run through and tell us the tell us the tale between you and Jordan. Yeah, well, we're not just friends from Dart. So, you know, we've been, uh, we went to the same nursery together, two or three years old. And, yeah, from that age, been best of friends. So we've gone through nursery, primary school, secondary school, played a lot of football, a lot of snooker together before we even played darts, to be fair. So... The draw was obviously a bit of a horror when it came out. Um, sports does that thing sometimes, but yeah, I mean, he's my best friend and um, we let the occasion get to us. Though. We're both a lot better than that, but luckily I'm the one that sneaked the win, so it's up to me to now improve on Tuesday night. What was your reaction when the draw came out? Because I don't know what the odds are of, of you drawing Jordan, but it must have been, sort of, hey, oh, no, not, not this. Yeah, I mean, I was watching it with Kirsty, my partner, and um, it was like a couple of the early rounds was coming out and me or Jordan wasn't coming out the yet. So after a bit, I thought, you know what's going to happen here. But even then, yeah, you don't really think it's going to happen. But yeah, when it come out, I, I was a bit cobsmacked, to be fair. It's, um, it's the worst draw. I got... I could have, I would have rather played anybody else in the field, irrelevant of talent or just. I think we, because we both live in the same town, we both got the same friends, so put a lot of people in a bit of an awkward situation because we're friends with us both. So I don't think they knew what to do leading up to the game. So yeah, it's one of them things that sports throws out. But yeah, it's a horrible draw for both of us, and um, well, horrible game. But I'm, luckily, I'm the one that come out on top. In terms of the game itself, Jordan started really quickly in that first set. He was averaging 100 after those first couple of legs, but you came back into him. And Do you think Nick in that first set, 3-2, was a, a real big point in the match? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Jordan started 15-16, I think. I, you know, I'm just thinking I'm not doing much wrong here, but Jordan was playing that well. And I, I think I played quite well myself to, to come back from 2-0 down and win the first set. So when I came in off the break, I was... I was thinking I found I found it now. I started slow, but and then when I got back up there after the break, I was, I was nowhere near. But yeah, like I said, I think I let the occasion, the emotions get too much there. But yeah, I mean, nicking that first leg was obviously massive. I mean, Jordan won that playing like he was. He would have he would have probably won what's be two nil. And the reward for beating Jordan is, of course, a match with Wayne Warren, the 2020 World Champion. Maybe a tough one against Wayne, who's, I don't know how much he's been practising, but when he pulls the game out, he's a top, top player. Yeah, I mean, I've known Wayne for a few years. Every, every time I've had the privilege to meet him, he's a fantastic guy. And I mean, like we all know, he's an unbelievable player. So it would just be an absolute privilege for me to share that. I mean, he's a reigning champion. So to share that stage with him will be an absolute privilege. And I'll be better than I was tonight. <laughs> but whether it'll be good enough to beat Wayne, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'll relax with that one. and I think I'll be a lot better. Brilliant. Cheers for your time, Liam. Much, much, much appreciated. Thank you very much.